Welcome, I'm Dr. Ogan Garel, host of Insights in Medicine, brought to you by In Time TV. We have a great hour ahead of us with actually two shows. It's a two for one uh, this weekend. And we have uh, a show with uh, uh, Tobin uh, Arthur, who is president and founder of iMed Exchange. We're going to be talking about physician online networks. And uh, that's a, a big topic that's growing and will be very big uh, in the future, near future. And then we also have in the second half uh, Dr. Stuart Lipson, Associate Professor of Urology at the University of Illinois, Chicago, talking about nephrolithiasis for the general practitioner. So two very important topics for primary care doctors, general practitioners, and interested specialists for you today. The second half of our show, we have a distinguished guest, Dr. Stuart Lipson, who is Associate Professor of Uro Urology at the University of Illinois, Chicago. The topic is nephrolithiasis for the general practitioner. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. Let me tell you a little bit about, uh, not, not you, uh, let me tell the audience a little bit about your background, um, and then we'll dive right into uh, this very important and obviously very prevalent uh, clinical problem. So, uh, Dr. Lipson is uh, Associate Professor of Urology at the University of Illinois, Chicago. He completed urologic uh, residency at Michael Reese Hospital Medical Center in 1981, uh, was remained at Michael Reese here in Chicago on the attending staff, he developed an interest in urologic stone disease, and was the principal investigator for development of the first tubeless extracorporeal stock shockwave lithotripser medstone at that time, one of the uh, real success stories in medical technology. Um, he was vice chairman of the Department of Urology and director of the Michael Reese Stone Center until 1989 when he moved to Rochester, New York, where he had extensive practice for 14, 16 years practicing urology in Rochester at the Strong Memorial Hospital Leading Center and his continued interest in treating complicated urinary calculi with extracorporeal, percutaneous, and ure ureteroscopic techniques. He is now returned to Chicago, University of Illinois, and obviously specializing in uh, nephrolithiasis, but in a number of other areas. Maybe we can have him as a guest on those. In particular, a very fascinating area of da Vinci robotic prostatectomy, and I know we've talked offline about that, but we're going to focus today on nephrolithiasis, and uh, welcome again. Thank you. Um, as you know, uh, nephrolithiasis can occur in any age group, but generally we see in the adults. And um, as in urology, most things occur in, in men more than in females, and true with stones also. Um, patients usually present to the emergency room with pain, mm -hmm. and, but we do see patients that have no pain. They have nausea, they have emesis, they'll have a fever of unknown origin, and the workup leads to a stone with hydro. And I think that the hydronephrosis is something that we all need to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. As you know, um, if someone's infected and they have a stone, and uh, you can't just rely on antibiotics or IV antibiotics, that's a urologic emergency. The surgical problem, essentially. We have to intervene because right. those patients can be septic and really die from an infection that can't be treated without having a catheter in and having a stent placed or a percutaneous nephrostomy placed and then the antibiotics. Generally, if they're coming in septic, we won't um, remove the stone at the initial setting. We want to just divert the urine and get the antibiotic and get the infection um, treated. So in terms of incidence, though, just the raw... It's geographic. In the southeast, it's the stone belt. Chicago's not really in that center, but we see a fair number in the Midwest. 